on the line now is Dennis. How are you feeling? One, one second, Dennis. Dennis admits to being one of the clinically insane traitors to this country who has decided to abscond our dankly moist green paradise that is thankfully protected by the darkest of dark clouds from the ghastly evil fire-spitting ball in the sky. Dennis, would you care to explain your heinous actions, please? Thanks, Phil. I sure it's grand to get away, I suppose, once every few years, you know, especially since it's been pissing down since September at home, you know. Dennis, you do realise you're currently holidaying in a destination that has been categorised as Dante's Inferno. Oh, is it? Right. Uh, well, I'm making the most of it anyway. I have a beer in my hand and a smile in my face, so <laughs> well, what more do you want, huh? Dennis, are you even aware that you're currently on fire? Am I? Jesus, I didn't know that. Oh yes, it sounds to me, Dennis, like you're writhing around in biblical agony as your skin rolls off your bones like a chalk ice melting from its stick. Oh yeah, I agree with you on that. The chalk ice do melt the, the longer you leave them out, all right? I'm always at the kids to hit them quicker, you know. Shocking. Dennis, are you telling me that you brought your family with you? Oh, I did, yeah. They're having a great time. Uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologise. This is clearly a matter for too slow. Huh? Dennis, I'd normally say you should be arrested for knowingly torturing and killing your nearest and dearest. But at this stage of your inevitable earthly demise, by the time the authorities reach you, you'll be nothing more than a pile of ash. Sorry, Phil, I missed that. You're breaking up there. Ash, Dennis, ash! Ash? No, no, I never smoked it. The beer will do me for now anyway, fill in. Cheers, good luck to you. I hope. Dennis there, stupidly burning alive before our very ears on holidays in the Isle of Man.